are you? How have you been? Well, today we are going to make a perfect appetizer, super delicious. We are going to make my favorite mixed cheese puff pastry recipe, which is super easy. And without further ado, let's get into it. So here I have a sheet of puff pastry, which I have cut it into four pieces. Of course, those pieces depends on the size that you want. For the filling, here I have two tablespoons of cream cheese with room temperature, alongside with one tablespoon of feta cheese. Of course, the mixture is filling, so go ahead and try your favorite types of cheese blades and let me know in the comments what types of cheese did you use. So, with my cheese, I am going to add about one or two tablespoons of chopped, uh, chopped olives. And I'm going to use black olives, but of course you can use any type of olives that you want or even taconite if you have it in hand. I just wanted to have a little bit of crunch in it. And for the herbs, which is a very important part, I'm going to add dried mint, dried basil, and some secret meat, which is dried dill. And the dill gives it a nice kick and you, won't, you don't want to miss that. Also, don't forget to add salt and pepper. The cheese is salty, but just a little slight to give it a kick. And of course, black pepper. And something that I almost always forget is a dash of garlic powder. Yes, garlic powder, and it just makes a huge difference, and I bet you won't try it. Because like garlic always they are best friends, right? All right, now we're going to mix our cheese mix. And another thing is that you can always add mixed nuts or another type of dried or even fresh herbs like chives or dried or fresh basil. But I don't have any in hand and to be honest with you, I'm not really a fan of chives. So that's what I'm going to mix with it. This is a really easy recipe. You just want to go ahead and make it with everything that you have in hand. All right, now I'm going to put the tablespoon in which and make sure that it's centered and don't forget to put a little space in between so that you can pull the uh, top layer on top Uh, now that we have put them on here, I want to add the top layer of the puff pastry, which I've taught before, and let's make a top for it. All right, now I am going to add a top layer like this. And just with a fork, try to stamp the sides so that it's all pressed down. You can add some scores with just a knife so that it bakes better. All right, now I'm going to put my beautiful puff pastries into a baking sheet in, and then into my preheated oven. Just remember that you have to oil your baking sheet a little bit. Alright, now I'm going to add some beaten eggs to the top to make them beautiful and golden brown. Alright, our delicious mixed cheese and olive appetizers are ready. It was super easy, it was super fun and delicious and just look at how golden they look. They are amazing. Well, thanks a lot for watching until here and I really hope to see you back. But before you go, don't forget to check out my Instagram page. Here I post more videos and here I post my shorts every day. Don't forget to check that out. And also, before you go, I have another recipe ready for you, which is my favorite authentic Turkish bread here. And also, after watching that, 
If you want to watch another thing, I also have my authentic and delicious barbecue soda bread right here. So don't forget to check that out and I will see you later in the next video. Bye!